How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're taking a look at my new AK-47 class setup here in Black Ops Cold War. Now, normally I am a big advocate of the eight attachment AK-47 here in Black Ops Cold War, but I decided I wanted to take a different approach here. That by going with Perk Read, where I can run six perks, Black Jacket, Tactical Mask, Spycraft, Gung Ho, really whatever you feel comfortable running. I feel much safer on the map running those six perks. I'm going to jump right into these attachments. Now, starting us off, the Gru Suppressor, being able to stay off the map hidden from your enemies and go on those long streaks is important if you like to play that way, but it also gives you 6% vertical recoil control. The AK-47 itself doesn't have much in that vertical category, more in the horizontal, but that 6% definitely does help the cause. Now for the barrel, I went with the 8.2 inch VDV Reinforced. That gives you 100% effective damage range and 40% bullet velocity, meaning at all ranges, you're going to be basically killing your enemy in the same amount of shots. In this 40% bullet velocity brings up to 877.5 meters per second, making it very, very good. Now, the Spetsnaz speed grip is going to be where we cover that horizontal recoil control. Like I said, it does like to bounce side to side quite a bit. This takes care of all of that and adds 5% to your sprint moving speed. Now for the magazine, I went with the 50 round mag. You can really go with whatever you want here. This is a big preference. I like to maximize that ammo capacity, but not sacrifice too much of my aim down sight time. But again, if you have a different mag that you like to run better, you can definitely be using that. And finishing us off here with the Gru Elastic Wrap, that to maximize the aim down sight time. That way you have the snappiest aim as possible. I saw a lot of requests for the AK-47 here on the channel, and I wanted to make it a little different than my normal class setup. So make sure you guys give this a try. And let me know what you think of it down in the comment section down below. If you guys are new to the channel and would like to find your way back for more videos just like this one, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me. That would be absolutely awesome. If you like what you see, make sure you also smash the like button. That's the most effective way to support the channel. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. <clears throat> okay, we've got some AK-47 action and some schlums. So I'm now recording after the Warzone event here. And to be realistic, I'm tired. I don't know exactly how well I'm going to play. But after it's all said and done, we will figure it out. We'll do our best. We got to get right here. I got the feeling. Anyways, this build is not one that is for like, I'm not going to say non fast movement play because you can definitely play fast with an AK 47, no matter the build, but it's not like a fast strafing run around sprint to fire time kind of kind of build. It's a slow peak corners, do what you can kind of build. High damage. My team is smoking them. Oh my God. I, I don't know if anybody's even in the game. We got a space sniper on our team too. Like my God. Where is this good? Alright, they're behind us. Whoa! Okay, that dude just smoked me. Just hit a jump shot out of nowhere. Hopefully, they keep playing the objective now, because I don't want this game to end too quick. The issue that's arising for me at the moment when I've been playing slums is the really OBJ oriented players. They're still there. Okay, still there. There he is. Huge. It's an LC-10. He's going to go here. 100%. 100p. I knew it. You go him? Nice. Oh, 
Now, here lies another issue now. They have a jammer. We need to destroy that. When they run jammers... Oh, we cannot stay here. Get me away. Wait a minute. When they run jammers... When you call in the harp, it's all messed up. We're gonna hit it because I don't think any of them are in that jammer. Oh my gosh, they're behind me. I'm glad I hit that when I did. There's one on the hill. We're gonna go for him. What we're gonna do, get over here and watch our cemetery. Bam. Come here, watch our cemetery. Bam. All right, so there's Molotovs everywhere, and this jammer still isn't gone, which concerns me. So I'm going to find this. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Teammate almost baited me pretty hard there. We're going to hit this, try to clear middle map up. See, there we go. You do, this is not a room you want to hang out in. They always come back for you every time, no matter what. They'll be there for you. So if you decide to play slums, keep that in mind. Never hang out in blue too long. And also another good... There's a couple of good angles on this map. Like this one right here. You can use these head glitches to your advantage big time. So, like, if you get shot here, you can run back and go to this head glitch here. Like, there's just very many good options on the map. So, like I was saying, this is 100% a slower AK-47 build, and that's what you're going to want to keep it as. 100%. Keep it slow. Play your head glitches, play your angles, and just keep your, keep your vibes up. The slower you play with this weapon... The better off it's gonna be for you. We're gonna go back here. So if you didn't know, there's also a head glitch here. You can watch the hill from there, and then you can also jump up here if you're new to the new to the whole slum situation. And watch the street. A lot of good, a good, lot of good angles there. One of the best maps in the game, easily. One of the most ba balanced maps in COD history. Wow. Okay. Well, for as slow as this game's going, I'm a little upset. I just died there. One off a nuke. What can you do, man? What can you do? So, now we're just going to play objective. Try to get some kills out. Our team is really on that OBJ grind. Wait, he's right here. Which way did he go? Okay. Well, not seeing a nuke happening just based off of the time I really have remaining. But we're going to do our best. I'm going to actually let them stay there and hopefully they break the hill. Another one. There's another one. That's how you do it. I might be able to get a nuke if things play the right way. I'm gonna die. I'm not dead. That harp is huge. Where'd 
Where are they going? Oh, the game is over, man. Man, we were on a burner there. 72 and 2. It's a good KD. I'm going to stick with it. That's my new KK47 class. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys can make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.